Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Ching Empire Lover, and right now it's 1891, July 1st, and we're actually over the country of Baratia. Now, you're asking, how did Baratia spawn? Well, if you look over Russia, and you know, there's no other nation I hate more than this one we're currently looking at. They've got a lot of socialists and some reactionaries, uh, and Jacobin rebels and communist rebels all over the place. Oh, I can't wait to have our vengeance on this dastardly, dastardly nation. But first, we're just going to go straight to war with Baratia because <laughs> why not? But in the meantime, we can also do this as well. We're an absolute monarchy right now. Um, now, we can open up our borders. That might, might be kind of wild if we actually do that. We have press rights, which is not bad. But we get censored press. Give us way more political awareness. We don't allow public meetings. Ooh, when we do that, that could really upend a lot of things here. Serfdom panage, um, which is not great. Yeah, honestly, I'm thinking about even going to like voting for rich people. That can really destroy an absolute monarchy. And I forget the prerequisites. Also, we have a lot of uh, consciousness as well as uh, militancy, which is not good. Um, I forget exactly which one this is. Like, there's a way to avoid the warlord era or the warlord, you know, uprising and stuff, which we're probably still gonna hit anyways. If I give them voting. We turn into a republic. We might be able to turn into a constitutional republic. Uh, is that what we want to do? I want to keep the empire to a degree, but uh, you know what? This is probably one of the rare times. Actually, you know what? Let's... Meetings allowed. Suppression game goes down. Ooh, I want more education though. Hmm. Hmm. But will that change us from an absolute monarchy? I'll try it. Screw it. Why not? If this goes poorly, then it goes poorly. Whatever. Oh, and there goes the economy. Then again, we didn't even raise it up. Of course, then we have no tariffs as well. So, it's a little laggy at the time of this recording, whatever. We should do okay. Baratia, they're civilized, but... Then again, we have no cannons on our guys here, too. I think it was a bad idea to attack them. It's alright, we got plenty of enough guys coming on up, too. Oh, there we go, limited constitutionalism. The political reforms enacted in the past years have led us to a situation where the absolutism of our monarchy now be legitimately called into question. No longer is the king free to dictate the course of the nation to his own musings, but instead has to accept several constitutional hems and restrictions on his success exercise of power. For these reasons, our government is formed as no longer most accurately described as an absolute monarchy. So we're now it's semi-constitutional. Actually, no, I should have done this earlier. Whatever. Uh, I can raise the traps back up. 35%. Also, it's just a little bit laggy because I might be doing something in the background as well, so... Uh, are we actually going to win this battle? Ma Ling? We might win it. Mission to the... Oh yeah, also we're just flying on these guys down there too, so... We'll see what happens if we get a lot of infamy. Oh, we actually lost a battle. God dang it, that sucks. Go in. We lose a battle, it's alright, whatever. This army sucks anyways. You suck, Ma Ling. Ma Ling. We get a lot of money now. Actually, not that, not that terrible. Yeah, just hold on. Hold, give us a second here. We'll take care of them. Uh, Venudinsk. Might as well. Oh, the Mandate of Heaven. Oh, crap. Oh, we're great power, too. The Mandate of Heaven is a concept in Chinese philosophy. Similar to the Western concept of the Divine Right of Kings, which has historically been used to both justify and motivate monarchical power. With the recent ascension of great power status, our subjects have again become convinced that our government enjoys the Mandate of Heaven. Excellent. Oh, look at the militancy. went quite a bit down compared to where, where it just once, once was. All right. Alright. Neo-Kantian idealism. It's really our goal right now is to catch up in terms of in terms of like education and spending and research points compared to the other great powers of the world, so. Cheetah. Uh, that's fine, you guys keep doing what you're doing there. I want you to find these guys and kill them. <clears throat> that's the main goal for us right now. Keep making a good amount of money. We've invested he very heavily into industrial power right now, as you can tell. Uh, and they died, as they should. So, let's go to this. Reap a lot more money. Because we're going to need a nice little buffer. We're going to build up all China a whole bunch. Um, still got some in from here, though. Kind of sucks. Plenty of money for that, though. Which is very nice. Little laggy. Ah! Batani, huh? So I'm hoping that when we do this... Also, I hope there's a change in frame rate for you guys. Well, maybe not. Because OBS doesn't record. Because I do have things slightly updated to where they once were. Uh, can we call in our allies? We don't have that many. austria hungary will say no, which is fine, whatever. Oh, proto extensionalism huh? Oh, explosives. Nice. We may eventually want to take on, as well, uh, the UK. 
Actually, liberating India would probably be a really good thing for us to do. That's actually a really good goal. Uh, set you there. I'm going to treat you because now at this point we're making uh, soldiers or armies with cannons, which is very nice actually. I'll uh, go up there because I want to still destroy. Oh my gosh. We actually might be able to destroy Russia very soon. Also, great wars have been unlocked as well. So that would be very nice to do. Get more research points. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, as long as people can vote, they should be a little bit less pissy at us, right? Oh, there you go. Nice. Hey! Look at that! It's not exactly what we wanted back from these evildoers, but, you know, we'll take it. Wow, you guys are not looking too good right now, are you? Um, let's just see. Anyway, we gotta do it again. And... You were missing one artillery piece. Are we not making any more artillery pieces? Oh, there. Tianjin? Tianjin? Whatever it's pronounced. Ah! Manchu Patriots! I like that a lot. I am really considering going to war with them. And we have a bigger military than they do. We might have to wait just a little bit. Hmm, free trade. I don't care. Either one. Hey, conservative reactionaries. Good job, guys. You voted. You got what you want, so don't piss us. Don't oh, are you kidding me? Hey, why is that? What the heck is that for? I just want this territory. That's all I want. If we can peace out before... If we move fast enough, we can probably peace them out. Where anything bad really happens. Because we're really going to be working on making ourselves even better now. Uh, lower the tariffs. By quite a bit. Max up that education spending. Ooh, look at that. More defense. Yes, please. And invest in whatever these people want. In. Like, seriously, just invest. I don't care what it is. If the factories fail, I just want a bigger score. The bigger the score, the happier I get. Give me a piece out with you. No, darn it. Partially westernized. Oh, hello. Japan. Really great. Yeah, sure, why not? Great power too. Oh, actually. We did we were allied with the Germans. Oh. Oh. Yeah. The Germans and the Japanese. And us. Actually. What if we did that? They have honored our alliance. What do we call in Germany too? Oh, we have no more victory points, do we? Oh. I don't know, America. I don't know. We're ninth in the world for our industry. Man, we caught up really flipping fast. But ten years ago, we didn't even have a single factory here. Not even ten years ago. Uh, we can increase relations with those guys. Oh, we can go to war with them. Acquire corn. Russian Feng Chan, huh? Austria-Hungary. We were allied to them as well, but whatever. No one cares, really. Oh, now we're losing money. Eighth power for industry. Jesus Christ. That's so great. Oh, I just hope the warlords don't get too uppity. Oh, it's going down now. It's still going up, though. Oh. It's a give and take. Well, you know what I like to say? I like to say, Fu Ket. What are you going to Ket? Fu. Fu? What are you going to Fu? I'm going to Fu Ket. Nice job, guys. Bunch of regulars. Oh, that's not good. Well, I mean, we should get taking war score for actually, like, taking all these areas over. Oh, are they... Hello. I didn't know that Japan was over there. Show. Show. So... They might be blockading us. But at the same time... Can they really do anything about that? Like... I hope the Japanese do something here. I hope more people rise up here. Oh, that's gonna be so good if they do. We were out with us for a little bit as well. <clears throat> so that's standard army, eat yourself a lot of attrition, head, head over here. Uh, good. Another army, it's not great, but it'll definitely work. You guys, let's get rid of the two calves. We don't have engineers yet, which does kind of suck. And then, one, two, three, four, that's good. Close you, get over here, you go here. And now we need five more artillery pieces of Accepticulture. There you go. That's all we need. <coughs> Blockade this as much as you want. Doesn't matter to me. Qing Patriots. Qing Patriots have risen up in a neighboring country and have gained sufficient control that they have sent word wishing to bring the province back to the Qing Empire. Agreeing would mean risking war but refusing would mean ending your people. It's too risky. Bring it on, you son of a gun. That's your Patriots, huh? Kill him. Oh, look at that. Oh. 
Nice. Yeah, need that too. Beautiful. So we don't get a free Casas Belly on them, but now, oh my gosh, 14,000 people are leaving every day. Mostly to Ecuador. Can you imagine showing up in Ecuador and there's just thousands of Chinese people there? And Mexico and Quebec. Wait, Quebec. Why is Quebec free? What the heck? We're we still allied? Yeah, we are. We're we still allied too? Yeah, we are. Uh, are you not a great power anymore? Oh, they're barely a great power. France. Sure. Why not? Italy also formed as well. Um, okay. Uh, this, not, this war might last quite a while, so... I'm probably going to go ahead and fade and fade out so we can see what's going to happen next. Everyone, 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 it's time for the good old Chinese reunification off screen. I've been doing a whole lot of stuff just because there's been so many flipping rebellions. Oh my goodness, it's been so bad. We've lost so many people. We've lost literally probably millions of people leaving every day or at least every month to other nations. Um, at some point, we even had, uh, where is it, um, like here in Canada... Like, part of the population is literally just, like, all Han Chinese. South Han. This was almost at, like, 25% at one point. They did a lot of assimilation here. But, oh my goodness, it was so bad. Because and, and as you can tell, we keep... Actually, no one's going to America. Oh, they're at war with uh, Spain and them over Cuba, whatever. Uh, in the meantime, though, the Soviet Union is here now. Um, they're okay-ish. But, yeah, we've just been losing a lot of people, that's all. To Quebec, Mexico, Argentina... Oh well, and the th in the meantime, we've been doing, like, like I said, a lot of stuff here, a lot of research points, we've been doing some military stuff because it's been getting really bad, we're trying to put down literally thousands if not millions of individuals, so regardless, we're now at war with Xinjiang, and we're trying to reunify China. Who could have thought of that one? Can we call it a lot? Can I actually just like, how do you get rid of puppets? I wish you could get rid of puppets and you just annex them directly. So, uh, they're mobilizing. Watch out. Watch out. But we'll official state and government, and we've been, we've been getting some reforms as well. But my god, it's been a pain in the butt trying to get all this stuff done. Uh, Culture-wise, nationalism, imperialism, that'd probably be good to do as well. Uh, more education, romanticism, market structures, all stuff would be good to do. More digging cap, maybe. We'll do that one next, maybe. So uh, Overall, we're doing relatively okay. I mean, it's not bad. It just could be a lot better. And I'm trying to get enough bureaucrats around here anyways, just so that the func we have enough of a functional administration all over the place. Then again, it doesn't help that a lot of this is not, like, actual accepted population. So, yeah. Definitely does not help us out that much. But we'll get there. Hopefully we get there. We'll see what happens. We're still fifth in the world. Still fifth in the world, so. Oh, either. Good. There you go. And we're making some good money. Now we've lowered taxes. Uh, our shares are still pretty high. Even though we have maxed out, uh, spending. Uh, go down by two more. So, there you go. Political form has gone up, which is really nice. And we lost so many people. Oh my goodness. Actually, can I demand? Yeah. Chinese reunification. That's fine. Just get all of this area. We're losing 50,000 people in the last month. Adult male population has changed by 50,000 in the last month. My goodness. Oh. What's this? Oh, whatever. No one cares. Nice. And our armies are actually looking okay. And another reform. So what do people want? Because we don't want them to be too pissed off. Uh, moralism and low minimum wage. Well, we can't quite do that. Free press is 0.2% 8. More literacy comp impact. Jeffersonian method. Which I don't remember choosing that one. I'm pretty sure I didn't choose that one. 2.8% This would be good. Panage would be pretty good as well. Uh, state control. No one cares. No one cares. Underground harassment. I kind of want to go free press. Because that could really help us out with political awareness and literacy stuff, so... Just getting more education, determinism, more plurality, not bad. Pretty decent stuff to get. Pretty normal stuff to get. Uh, like I said earlier, we've been trying to improve our military here as well. Um, we needed a horse somewhere here. Yeah, you guys needed a horse, so... Here, take the horse. We do have Hussars now instead of using Dragoons. Should help us out slightly more in our battles, but we'll see, of course. And... Uh, boom, there you go. Another army. It's not a big old army, but <clears throat> it'll be a big army eventually. Ningbo. Thank you, sir. Oh, Ching Hai gains all his cores. We still have to, that threat, which sucks, but whatever. Um, you actually just need actually a cannon. Wait, what do you have here? Get rid of this entry as well. 
We need artillery. Over here too. Nice. And a horse. Um, shut it down. Whatever. Horse, huh? That's not a hussar, but whatever. There you go. Not bad. Still losing thousands by the day. Still making some money though, which is fine with us. And artillery. Thank you. Looking good. Looking very good. I'll keep you in paid king just just in case for a capital. You have what? Horses? No. You're looking okay as well. I'm gonna actually station you probably down here, at Haifong, just in case. And then you guys need an engineer. Do you have an engineer? No, you don't need engineers. All right. Uh, we need engineers. Are we making any more engineers? Yes. It's gonna take a while though. Do that. Switch in half. There you go. Should help us out a little bit. A lot of cavalry coming in, which is fine. Um, would you like a piece out? Hey, would you look at that? That looks a lot better. Wow, that really does look a lot better. I'd love to bet, but we can't go to war with them, which does suck until I like get repellents. Oh, Cuban Freedom Americans are not doing very well against them, are they? I guess technically we could go to war with Afghanistan if we really wanted to. Um, in the meantime, we probably want to go ahead and reach us find these guys and maybe take out all of uh, this group, partially Westerners. Oh, still about 1900, huh? Oh, it looks like we're about to end up going to war with either the Soviets, or these guys, or India, very, very soon. Ah, yes, now we can claim the Sakhalin. The eastern natural frontier of the Qing Empire has always been the Sakhalin Islands, but our nation has been humiliated for too long by the foreign barbarians. It's time to revoke the unequal treaties, the forced terms and armistices that made the old rulers relinquish our rights of our old territory. It's time to bring the Asian border back under our control. Look at his course. Very cool. And we still haven't exploded, as you can tell, but... Uh... Qing into China. Sounds like a lot of fun. We need revolution, counter revolution. Organize Laos. We need revolution, counter revolution. Um, we need to do not have oh any sort of monarchy to become China, which makes sense. Uh, we're still trying to fight a lot of resistance up here and whatnot, but we just basically got nationalism and imperialism. Up next, revolution, counter revolution. We got like I said, we still got a lot to catch up on. I'm not sure how much for more of this campaign we can really do. I mean, we're gonna try to basically make ourselves as strong as possible, but we'll see in a little bit. Even though, here's the map of the world so far. Oh, uh, we're actually not losing anyone else, which is actually kind of nice. Never mind, we're losing 22,000 people a day. Uh, people are immigrating to France. Why France? Anyways, um, other than that, we have the People's Republic of Italy. Well, the Communist. German Empire, Austria. Oh, I guess Russia's flipped back to uh, reactionaries. Other than that, uh, not much else has happened here. We have the Italian, the Italian Congo Free State. Portuguese Africa has a lot of issues. And America is still discussed. What? Just guys. Why do we have the Maritime Union? This is all very disgusting. But hopefully soon enough we will not have any more issues. And maybe we can go to war with Siam. Probably Siam. Well, like I said, Southeast Asia. Good times, especially when they're only partially Westernized. We've really <laughs> stunted their growth. But you know what? That's what we do here on the channel. We exploit people so that we may grow stronger and bigger. Because that's the way we like it. So doing phenomenal phenomenology and hermeneutic. Oh, Jing schools. Assimilation efforts in South Han areas and territories are progressing slower than they should reasonably have to. And one of the reasons is that South Han children are still educated in their native tongue. By enforcing compliance to a national curriculum, we can foster a new generation of children who identify more directly with the Qing state. Of course. It's a uh, intellectuals and research speed, just by a slight bit, but that's okay. We're the second biggest military in the world. Doesn't mean it's good, but still. And so rising in consciousness, militancy, but... And, and this is still China. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still China. China's got a lot of population, but we need some horses. Oh, we'll get some horses here. Okay, cool. Let's see. We got one, two, one, two, three, four. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. Then go one. And now we need four pieces of artillery, which and technically this is technically an outdated model. One, two, three, four. We just need to double up and make 60,000 stacks. But for now, since we're still here, we'll keep making 30,000 for now. And we're losing more population. Go figure. Cool. Ah, because service support goes down, more liberal support, more common support, more social support as well. Alright, so we got the, another stack, which would be nice. Head on over there. Um, do the same thing again. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Um, and then we need five, four, four more artillery pieces. Another stack, thank you. Probably should pay attention to the war down here, too. 
Um, there you go. And you just kind of hang out in Udon Tani. Because why not? And in the meantime, let's go and increase relations because we can. Even though we will fight those guys. Out. Oh, hello. Oh, that's not good. Uh, increase relations? Sure, why not? There you go. Another stack. And then just posting them all around the Empire just in case. Especially up here in the northern ports. Bernudinsk. That's half Mongol, half Russian. Sounds like a big old minority problem. Um, still building more. Yeah, here, build up some more. Uh, I, like I said before, I only want to build artillery where we have accepted cultures. So, like, all this stuff, all accepted cultures, that's what we're going to build. So, making more money, too, which is great. Prestige, we're only 11th in the world, but that's okay. Increase factory sizes. Oh, well, oh, that's not good. That's not good at all, now, is it? Uh, acceptable school system. We're trying to get there, but we'll see. Let's see. 0.2%. Panage, 3.3%. Ooh, 7%. Land wealth. Uh, I'm going to go with Panage just because this one gives us minus 50% poor savings, less immigrant attraction, slightly more tax efficiency. Um, and minus 50% education? Well, with Panage, we get minus 3%. So an improvement of 12%, which is pretty good. So, And the poor gets more savings, too, which is you know, decent enough. All right, and we've almost got them. Yeah, there's going to be a lot more dead Chinese now. But the more they rise up, the less issues we have. And there goes Siam. Thanks for playing Siam. Southeast Asia is looking really good. Which means the next... Hello. Oh, look at those uh, rebels. Oh, they still got rebels all over the place here. They're only 12th in the world. We're second in the world. Oh, boy. Oh, if, Russia didn't, if Germany didn't cancel their alliance with us. Are they allied with anybody? Oh, they're only secondary power. Oh, we can go to straight to war with them. War of Unification. Ooh. How about we get started first? They're only a secondary power. Now give us some time to prepare, and then we'll invade Russia. Well, everyone, it's time for, uh, basically, revenge. Now, I we went to war with the Soviet Union by ourselves because they don't look terribly difficult. They have a military score of three. This is called Soviet Qing Empire, which is, which is cool and all. And we're also basically demanding the liberation of Primori. Wait, Vladivostok, basically, but really, Primori, so. We're doing it by ourselves. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we do well. And we've already launched, basically, our invasion. So we're going in. And by God, we're going to get some serious revenge by the time we're done here. We better get some serious revenge. We're not going to tolerate these Ruskis for a very, very much longer, really. And take everything you can. That's not nailed down. Thank you, sir. Come on in. Have a good time. Oh, no. They have rebels. Actually, we've had a lot of rebels off screen. Uh, if you're about Kaboom, please go ahead. But we make no distinction to class. Class does not matter on this channel. What matters is race. That you're part of... I don't know. Race? Vroom, vroom. Like NASCAR. Vroom, vroom. All right. And you guys going to head on down through here. Oh, are you done? No, you ain't. When you're done, and you're what you are now, right now you're going to go that way. Because this guy is going to go up here. So far, so good. Nice. And then you should be done soon. You should be done soon. And you get into your spot as well. And we're currently doing a revolution and counter-revolution as well. Just to make sure that we're on top of everything. Anything else around here that we really care about? Just continue doing what we're doing. We got some good score, and we, I promise we will go to war with the UK eventually. India will be ours. Also, we're, oh, we could call it. Oh, we could call them in, but you know what? This is this is personal. Uh, nothing else over there. They don't accept yet, which makes sense. <clears throat> what the Russians get? Send to the army east, or I guess technically west. Uh, go up there. That'd be good. Uh, here we go. Northern socialists. You're gonna die now. Alright, take a little bit of luck. Um, there, you're still going. You're still going. You are done. Not really. There you go. Uh, go to Ayan. Go to. Eh, we're losing some population, but whatever. It's fine. Still the second largest military in the world. Hello. You better not stay here. Kamul. Go in and just slaughter them all. 
And uh, looks like we got something here too. Nice. I know there's not a lot of industry and wealth around here, but we still need all of it. <coughs> no matter what, as we're making uh, some good money. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, they're mobilizing, huh? That's nice. Hordes of just Russian peasants, Soviet peasants, really. You're right there. That's good. And you're doing well as well. We're gonna start sending you this direction as well. Head on up. And head on down. Oh, egalitarianism? In our China? Maybe. Maybe. Here. No, you go up there. You guys are gonna head down over there. And we're just trying to get more bureaucrats as well, still, so. And they are almost done right there. What's the war score like? 3%. We do have ticking war score, which would be very nice, actually. War unification? We get two prestige, and if we fail to get that, or we just acquire a core. One prestige. We definitely want that one. We also might want to save some of our infamy, because we don't have perfect infamy right now. I'll go right there. Um, later on, for the Great Wars. So, <coughs> things to think about. And India is not going to come cheap. No, they will not. Yep. Nope. Oh, hello. Ah, it's Pakistan. Oh, it's a primitive nation. Oh, we can't head under. Oh, dang it, that sucks. Well, if that's the case, we can make the super long route and go there, I guess. Oh, hello. Son, you ain't doing that. I'm going to guarantee you, you ain't going to do that. You're going to be dead before you're able to do that. Now, we're going to suffer quite a bit of attrition, but you know what? Our population is so big, I don't really care how much attrition we take. It'll be fine. In the end, it'll all be fine. Okay, so there. Oh, I'm going about this. Please go ahead. Blame local management. Labors are careless. I'll do that one. Oh, wow. That's not quite good. So we'll go with one. Actually, let's do it like this. That's fine. Whatever. We'll get more horses later. One. Four, five. One. Two, three, four, five. There you go. And let you guys go out and help out protect um, that area, I guess, for now. Still have 100 divisions here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, nope. 4, 5. There you go. 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5. That should help us out. And I'll send you down to oh, Haiphong. You guys go down to Saigon. And you guys come to Hui. There you go. Set for yourself. There's a little bit more than that. Thank you very much. Uh, good luck over there. Still along the coast, which is not terrible. And over here, we're right here. Time to take a look, quick look. 54%. 76, 84, 21. Not great, but whatever. We'll work on it. On it. <clears throat> All right. What else do we have here? One. Or five. One. There you go. I'm gonna stack just in case. Put them over there. One, two, three, four, and five. Just in case, no wonder we have the biggest military in the world. As we should. As we really, 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 really should. Daily, just in case you have a Long Yun never rise up against us, and that wouldn't be very good. If anything, he'd be working for us, hopefully. Uh, and this is exactly why I make keep making more armies. <coughs> Kill every last socialist you see. Whether they're Chinese or not, it does not matter. Oh, man, they're getting slaughtered down there. And that's okay if we keep raising consciousness, militancy, so this way we get more uh, potentially um, reforms. And reforms are going to be yummy, 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 yummy. Next, uh, head on up here, that's fine. Don't worry about it down there. Now go up there. There you go. Nice job, guys. Mountains kind of suck, but whatever. 
I'm taking both tiles. I don't care what happens. Would not accept. Quarter core. No, we're good. Free allied cores. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Actually, how much? How much? How much would that cost? That one, uh, Three point seven Coquelin. You know what? We can afford that. I'm okay with that. Oh, we can't do that though. God dang it! That sucks. Now we got more fascist influence now. We're fascist support in the upper house. Cement factories? Oh, wait. We just discovered cement. Wow, that, that took a long time, huh? That took actually a very long time. And thank you. Anything else going on over here? There's still three military score. No, nothing else looks relatively peaceful. Go over there. Now you just, just say where you're at. Keep going that way now. Go that way now. Go that way now. And keep going for the coast. Very nice. We're losing a lot of money, but that's alright. Ooh. We lost a battle here. Oh, they want peace. Oh, we could. There's nothing really else we can do. We can do reparations. But you know what? Yeah, you know what? Let's get reparations. Cut down to size. That's a lot. Reparations are really cheap. 1.2. Maybe it's because of unification. We can't do that, so that's fine. Do, do that. Oh, whatever. Oh, Qing into China. Okay. <laughs> With the colonial government taking form in Saigon, Qing administrators have advised elevating the region to a full department. Clearly with odds on expanding Qing colonial rule to neighbors in the Southeast Asia, of course. Nice. Geneva Convention, please. Form Turkestan. Ooh. Increased conscription time? Oh, I guess we just got that one done with uh, that one over there. Um, can encourage more bureaucrats and whatnot. Overall, not bad. Um, and this is a cultural map mode. I didn't show you this yet. So there's a lot of just North Han. So there's some South Han starting here, and then Yu, Asia Minor, Vietnamese, Zhuang, Yue, South Han, Yu Min. And throughout all these areas, there's some Manchu up here as well. There's Mongol as well. Quite a bit of Manchu. So it is what it is. Uh, in the meantime, but just bureaucracy is just so bad all around here. So lots and lots of bureaucrats. All over the flipping place, but now with that one, ooh, we got most mass politics. Let's keep working on maybe navy. We can do some bigger naval bases, and we got it back. Look at that, organized Laos, which are organized elevation colonies to better reflect both a local structure as well as the set of the possibility for autonomous rule, dominated by benevolent colonial administrators, of course. Yes, please. Um, now that Laos is fully in our hands, the opportunity to shift its production out of agriculture for the internal market to an expo exportation driven model was put forth by several Qing companies in Peking. Discussions began with several companies putting forward proposals on what to focus and what to incentivize for the jungles of Southeast Asia. A new era for agriculture in Laos provinces are dawning. Companies know what is best tropical wood, tea and tobacco, tro rubber and tropical wood, coffee. Companies know what is best, and then uh, the Guanwai region. For too long, uh, outsiders dominated Guanwai, and now we expel the barbarians. They called these Chinese lands by foreign names for too long, replacing them all and using their barbaric language everywhere. We should restore the proper names for this region for these provinces as soon as possible. Nice. A lot of stock has re been renamed to Haishenwai. Nice. Encourage Arab nationalism. Oh. Alright, so overall, we're looking all really good. We have a couple rebels here, but Nothing that we can't really handle, right? Right. So, next up, I think we'll probably go to war with... Somebody! And here we're at, everyone. It's 1911, December 14th. I've just been playing this for like four hours off screen. Apparently the Soviets are now... The, the Bolshevik Soviets, of course, are now where, where the communist Poland. They're killing each other. Oh, wow. Our allied dreamers are not looking having, like they have a good time. Also, we've not exploded yet. Um, we have a lot of consciousness. Not good. we got a lot of militancy. we got a lot of armies, though. I and mean, we've got a lot of arms. We are, we are under a new power party, the Zongguo Mingzu Tongmeng. So I refuse to explode um, into warlords. So I haven't done anything off screen uh, to make sure that we don't explode. But I don't want to have the Zenai Revolution. But establish protectorate against a con uh, Kazakh Khanate. So there we go. Yeah, a little bit of war might hurt us a little bit. And we're losing how many people every day? Or in the last month, we've lost thirty-seven thousand. Eh, forty-five thousand. Our population's remain actually gone down just a slight bit ever since we opened up the borders, but overall, you know, they don't want to be here, then we don't want them. Simple as that. 
in the meantime, yeah, I've been, like I said, I've been, I've been playing this a lot off screen. Like, I've been playing this for hours. I'm just trying to get us to the point where we actually make some battleships and stuff so we can take on the British Navy. I just want India. And we're, and even though Great Wars are available, still don't want to use them in, if we can expand in Central Asia, I think that'd be a great thing. It's the only fifth in the world for great power stats, but you know what? It takes time. It'll just take some time to get there. Um, we'll, we'll take parts of Japan if we can. It's just uh, the Navy. The bi Navy is the biggest thing for us right now. We're doing biologism, but... Biologism? Oh, oh I forgot. Extra army here. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Forgot about you. <laughs> You've been in Asia. Oh, you're a bunch of fascists now. There's a lot of kind of support here, but whatever. Um, okay. Also, we've been trying to improve supply, so... Just having at least an army on every border province is kind of the uh, goal right now. So, <clears throat> even though our literacy is at sixty percent finally in nineteen twelve, I mean it takes so long. China is it, it's hello oh, Ireland. Okay, sure, why not? In case relations with the Irish, why not? Because we can. Population is only a quarter million people. That's not a lot of Irish people. Nice. There we go. And you're heading down there, which is fine. And let's see. So now we have. A good school system. We've got restricted child labor, all rights allowed, good minimum wage. People want wealth voting? I don't want to give them that. They might rebel, though, so you know what? Fine. <coughs> you can have it, so you have less rebelliousness for now. And you you just kind of... Honestly, you probably just stay there. You'll probably be fine. And that'll be fine. Let them have a good old time. Consciousness in Colonial is fine. We need more money, too. We, we were incurring quite a debt to other countries because of the whole stupid new party thing. Well, we made it work so far. Oh, and we can just do it. Yeah, my bad. Social scientists, let's get this one. Police state. Actually, I forgot to look at this one as well. Uh, how are we doing over here? 87.7, 48... Oh, 100%, great! We also have the trusted system as well as open revolt. Not good! It'll expire eventually, I hope. But China's definitely looking a lot better than it did in the past. It's looking so much better. It's not perfect, but... But the end goal is dominate Japan, take out, kick out uh, the British out of India at the very least, get back Shanghai, take, kick out the Portuguese as well. Maybe call it a campaign. Oh, we'll see what happens. Our industry is level fifth in the world. Four, that's, that's not bad. Oh, I guess we're out, out of the Ottomans as well. That's kind of nice. I think maybe up next is Uzbekistan. Maybe, maybe not. This is really disgusting around here. Tajikistan. Never thought I'd see Tajikistan in my campaigns, but here we are. All right. Actually, is there anything else we can get from them? No? Okay, preparations. Well, I never expand, thought Chain trying to expand this far and over here, but, you know, there we're at. Actually, can we do Uzbekistan? Do have to protect it? Sounds good to me! And just like the nation we just took out, which I can't remember at the time of this recording anymore, Uzbekistan time! Yes? Yes? Very much yes! Oh, they have 30 stack over there. It's fine, they, they're completely uncivilized. They're primitives. Ah, uh, and the primitives go down without a fight. We, too, once were primitives. But we've learned. We've grown. And we know how to use explosives more, much more effectively now. Waiting for an eventual rebellion that'll tear apart the Chinese nation once again. But you know what? If China doesn't explode, are you really playing China? <laughs> Definitely not. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Xiao. You're actually really good on attack. You probably won't make it in time up here, but whatever. Yeah, that's what I thought. War exhaustion? Not bad. Social Darwinism? We're doing mass politics as well. Uh, this only cost like less than three infamy to take these guys out, so not bad. I do want to go back to war with the uh, Soviets. Actually, it's not a bad idea to go back to war with them. Prestige could be better though. How are we looking over here? Not great. Ooh, Darwinism, yes! 61% of the population can finally read. 1913. Very good. Hello. Oh, also. Off screen. There's a British American war. The British are doing very well. Dismantle constructions, demand reparations, cut America down to size. Really, like Canada, Mexico, and. It's kind of weird. Huh. Polish li liberation of Soviet brass? Not going so well, is it? Ah, good. Good job, guys. Kiva? Do the best we can, even though we can't really afford too much military spending, and I don't want to. I, I personally don't want to spend too much more in the military right now. Uh, where are we at? Uh, 87, huh? I've been playing for so long, my G button doesn't work anymore. Where are our engineers? We're barely making any engineers. Of course, we're barely affording anything here anyways, but still. Shoddy? Uh, sabotage. Factory in one of our states has become the target of a mild Bukowski sabotage campaign during the fast, last few weeks. And local management suspects that a known socialist agitator in the area is responsible for his development. 
As a gentleman in question is known by management to have taken issue with the decision they recently took regarding company the internal division of labor. You fired somebody? I'm down to profiteering of these fat cats. Mm. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Yeah. And we're struggling against these guys. It's fine, whatever. Oh, go to Tashkent. Actually, you guys go to Coquelin. You guys go to Samara. That's fine. Ah, oh, and they're gone. Pretty good. Ireland, eh? <coughs> Excuse me. Hopefully, much faster increase in education. Actually, since we're here, how much, uh, it's only five, ah, oh, screw it anyways, since we're here anyways, I'm gonna take them out too. If only I didn't take out these guys. Actually, can I release them? Release nations. Can't release Coquelin? Or I always call it Coquelin, but Co Coquin? Maturia, Guangxi, Kachin, Karen, Kazakhstan. Laos. Oh god, what are you guys doing? Uh, ah, it's not bad. Bone? I don't really want to go to war with these guys, though. Actually, I really do. I actually really, really do. But I'm not going to go to war unless it benefits us, so. And I don't see any benefit just yet. I want to wait until we can dismantle Nation Button. I want them fully destroyed. Or we take territory from them, so. We'll go back there eventually. More bureaucrats, thank you. Bureaucrats all over the place. Oh, and Hainan has bureaucrats too. So. Are you ready to give up yet, Uzbekistan? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Ah, uh, four infantry, whatever. There you go. Cool. Very nice. Anything about roads? Actually, I've not developed roads at all. I should really develop more roads around here. Oh, research. Well, it's the beacon of roads. Industry? Why not? Research it. Because we can. Um, I think it's more prestige from that. Just cleaning this area up will be the biggest thing. Bukhara would be important to do as well. It shouldn't take that much longer to go here, though. Oh, hello. Eh, maybe we should have joined the war, but whatever. Here. Still putting down a lot of rebellions. It's fine, whatever. Ah, uh, execute him. Actually, what are we up for this? We have a lot of intellectuals. Not a lot of clerics, though. Turk Minabot? Oh. No, we're still doing okay. We just don't have a lot of reinforcements. For now, it's fine. Number keep going up by a lot. As well as right there as well. Oh, since we're here. Yeah, just relations because I can. Read them out. Good amount of money, though. That's good. I'll begin integrating East Shandong. Yes, please. Any day now. Freedom them out. Freedom out. I'm not going to lose prestige. We're not going to lose prestige here. There we go. Railroads will be good. High pressure steam engine. Hopefully a lot of people want to invest in roads for China. That would be nice. Luxury factories would be good as well. Oh, come on. Let's go to war. There we go. Finally. Freedom them out. Same thing with you guys. It's only five. Eight. It means nothing. Especially if we can map paint a little bit more worth it in the end. Finding a mount's going to be a bad idea, especially not with a ton of high morale, but they have horses and infantry and they're, and they're gone. That's what I thought. Nice. Hopefully get some more reforms as well, because of all this high consciousness and militancy. I'd love, 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 love to get more uh, reforms. Love the reforms. Spending a plenty on construction. Oh, and we got 3.2% or 3.2. Not the worst thing that could happen. Uh, let's take a look here. Close piece? Nope, not yet. And what else do we have here? We got. Uh, what's going on? Netherlands. I'm not getting involved, son. I, I, I don't. I don't want to get involved in your stupid little wars. Social sounds would be nice. Come back over here and goose. Ooh, do that one. We need time to build up the naval bases. Wow, we're losing a lot of people. Too bad. I don't really care. Tajik. Not bad. Oh, 
Uh, are we there yet? No. Oh, elections. Hopefully. Well. Hopefully they choose the right. Why is this? Huh. Oh, good God. Uh, what do people want? Trinket healthcare. Yeah, I'd like that too. I would really like a gerrymandering. <coughs> oh, we're about to go socialist. I'll go that one instead for now. Oh, France, what are you doing? No, I'm not fighting Germany. You have something up your butt if you think I'm going to go fight Germany. Oh, Germany broke our lines too. Huh. Aust War of Austro-Hungarian aggression against Serbia. Oh. Yeah, no, that's definitely not... That's not for us. I'd rather beat up the Russians. We lost some prestige because we didn't go in the war, but I don't care. And that's fine. No one cares. No one will really miss them. Wow, this is disgusting. These... Oh, oh wait, Russia. Oh. Oh, Russia. They're pants off now. Yeah. Um, I think Germany's going to do really well. Oh my gosh, Ukrainian national. We might see Ukraine here too. Oh, Buhara. Well, this is definitely not how I expected this campaign to go, but... You know, whatever. There you go. Go in. Have fun. Um, You know what? I'm okay with allying Japan for now. Actually, would you like an alliance? No. Okay. Show me, would you like an alliance? No. Okay. Ireland? Alright, well, whatever. Plenty of money for now. <coughs> just tons of people are leaving the, our country, though. Just tons. Do they not like China? I'm trying to get more reforms, man. Just for the Chinese people. Literally just for the Chinese people. Uh, anything else over here? Group them up. And... There we go. One. Four. One. There you go. Four. There you go. Another 3,000 stacks. We can throw them over here. That'll be good. Right there. Oh, you need another infantry. Uh, here. I'm sure you have plenty. It's one of these old armies that we made. Ah, Bohar's good. Ah, uh, more tax would be nice, too. All right. All right. I think that's going to be us, or it, for this episode. Ooh, they're out of the but if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. That's disgusting, Austria Hungry. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow. As we'll see if we can go toe to toe with a great power. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.